important that the technology provider team up and the three, three major aspects where they need to team up. First of all, it's about the technical interoperability. They need to team up and I suggest to standardize because standardization is always the key for success, for any successful rollout. Only if a consumer can use his, let's say, mobile phone the same way like he's used to use his card, then um, this whole let's say, system will be accepted. So the second aspect is the business model and uh, business agreement. So technology provider needs to team up and show a uh, say seamless uh, service to the end customer because if, uh, if they don't do that, a customer will not, uh, um, let's say, or will only be confronted with additional fees and this will not be accepted. So the return of the investment needs to come directly from the additional use, from the more frequent use of the customer and not from additional fees. And the third aspect of where they need to team up is, let's say, to offer as many applications as possible, but in a trusted environment. So it's not very likely that there's a one card fits all approach. So that will be too complicated. But I think everybody of us is interested to get as many applications as possible into one card to reduce the number of cards in your pocket. But you need to have a trusted environment. And here I suggest always to use a TSM service because that gives the end customer, let's say, a good feeling. Um, and the acceptance will be much higher. So most of the implementations today are based on proprietary standards because there was nothing else available in the past. But you can see if, you, if, if there's a rollout, if the more and more use is, uh, is being uh, you know, rolled out, then you all of a sudden you, you see there are some disadvantages. You have a lower quality, a higher price, and there's less innovation power because the number of suppliers is limited or even there's even a, mo a monopoly in, in the market. And you can see that from public tendering, government authorities, when they issue a tender, they ask explicitly for multiple sourcing. If they would not do that, um, they cannot show that they have a transparent um, procurement process. Uh, and um, they, for compliance reasons, they need to show that there's no discriminatory or non-discriminatory practices available. This is important uh, for the end customer because only with the open standards you get enough sources you have, uh, let's say, higher quality level, more innovation power and lower prices and that's a win-win for all. If you look at uh, what's happening in the, in the market, you can see from many, let's say, projects and rollouts in, in some cities, countries, that multi-application is already reality, so it works. And many analysts also mention, yes, there will be say multi-application cards coming up more and more and they will be omnipresent in the, in the near future. If you team up properly, um, then you can see the advantages. And the advantages here, first of all, you can save money for issuing, for card operation. I think card operation is even more important because it's a constant cost factor. Um, and uh, you can also, let's say, generate new businesses by having, let's say, more uh, customer data. You can offer more services, increase revenue. And if you make it right, the customer will accept it, will like it, and that again increases your revenue by a higher usage rate. And interesting enough is also, interesting is also to see that the um, uh, public tendering also asks explicitly for multiplication cards because they want to save money and they also want to make it more easier for the, for the people and for their citizens. Postcard emulation, that's a big hype in the market, and, but we don't see that this, the whole market is turning uh, towards um, hostcard emulation. But I really like it because it helps the NFC market to, to grow. Uh, it solves a few issues of, the, um, of our industry. First of all, it comes with a, let's say, common uh, or uh, unified uh, payment token approach, if we can call it like this. Um, and that helps a lot to grow also contactless services and dual interface uh, cards. And it also helps a bit by defining who is the owner of the customer. And that can be endless discussion, so this definitely helps our industry. But uh, we also have to see uh, that there are some limitations. First of all, still each end consumer and customer needs to have one contract with each is issuer bank. And that uh, is still a lot of effort. So the question is how much will be the acceptance of the public? And the second part is how much will the banks, the issuing banks accept, uh, let's say, a software security only approach. Uh, it's always important to have a, uh, an end-to-end -end secure, a proper end-to-end -end security. 
And if you, let's say, are not able um, to provide the reasonable security level, the end banks will not accept it.